hi guys welcome or welcome back again to another gc video how are you guys doing i know you are doing absolutely fantastic and welcome or welcome back again to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be giving you 41 nhs trusts that are actively recruiting from overseas and offering tier 2 sponsorship If you are wondering what tier 2 sponsorship is, that is what gives you the permission or the opportunity to apply for your residency in the UK as a skilled worker. And this particular video is for any category of healthcare worker, being it a registered nurse, a doctor, a physiotherapist, a dietitian, a nutritionist, a healthcare assistant, and what have you. When you go on track jobs, which is where the NHS Trust advertises your jobs or the NHS website or the NHS job website, these NHS trusts are being advertised and they are actively recruiting with tier 2 sponsorship or with visa sponsorship that will give you the opportunity to reside in the UK and to work as a skilled worker. I've shared videos on care homes that are offering tier 2 sponsorship. However, it's not everybody that has got the interest in working in a care home. Likewise, it's not everybody that's got the interest in working in the NHS. And so that is why I share opportunities across board. And also because there are some people who are already in the United Kingdom who are looking forward to change jobs or to switch um, employers either from the care home to the NHS or from the private sector into the NHS. I've also shared before opportunities of joining the NHS and reasons why you should consider working with the NHS and as a former NHS staff, yes, I recommend you if you want to work with the NHS, it's, it's a personal decision that you would have to take. So without much ado guys, let's go right into the video. So I've got the list here, it's a very long list, so if you see me looking, that is because I'm trying to get the names of the NHS and I also try to write them under, you know, the video as I am mentioning them because pronunciation may vary and you may not know what trust I am mentioning. Meanwhile, it is what it is, okay? So to start with, we've got the Together NHS Trust and when I mention the trust, I'll try as much as possible to mention the location because sometimes location do matter. People are specific on where they want to live so if you are looking around some areas i'll mention the areas if it's an area that suits you then you can go into it so the first one is together nhs trust in wales the second one is five barrow partnership nhs trust it's in the northwest of england the third one is aintree nhs hospital is also in the northwest of england next is aldehay children's nhs all Harrow's Healthcare Trust is in Midlands and East England. The sixth one is Bansley Hospital NHS in Yorkshire and Humberside. Basildon and Torrick Hospital University NHS is also in Midlands. The third one is Bedford Hospital NHS Trust is also in the Midlands. Ninth one is Berkshire Healthcare NHS is in London slash southeast part of england barking havering and red bridge nhs which is also in london next is birmingham and solihill mental health nhs also in the midlands next is birmingham community Healthcare nhs also in uh, midlands the next is birmingham women's nhs which is also in the midlands the 14th one is black county partnership nhs is also in midlands the 15th is blackpool teaching hospital nhs is in the northwestern part of england the next is botting nhs foundation trust is in northwest england next is bradford district care trust nhs is in yorkshire and the Humbersides. the next one is bradford teaching hospital nhs still in the same location the 19th one is brighton and sussex university hospital nhs which is in the southeastern part of england the 20th one is beckinghamshire healthcare nhs which is in the southeast part of england slash london the next one is Burton hospital nhs is in midlands the next one is Calderdale and Huddersfield NHS is in Yorkshire and the Humbersides. The next one is Calderston Partnership NHS is in the northwestern part of England. Number 24 is Cambridge University Hospital NHS Trust. 
The next is Cambridgeshire Community Services NHS. The next one is Cambridgeshire and Peterborough NHS. The next one is Camden and Isleton NHS Foundation Trust, which is in London slash the southeastern part of England. The next one is Central and Northwest London NHS Trust, which is in London, obviously. The next one is Central Manchester University Hospital, which is in the northwestern part of England. The next one is Chelsea and Westminster NHS Trust, which is in London. The next one is Chester and Wirral Partnership NHS Trust, which is in Northwest England. Next is Chesterfield Royal Hospital NHS Trust. Number 34 is Christie NHS Foundation, which is in Western part of England. The next is City Hospitals Sunderland NHS. The next one is Clutterbridge Centre for Oncology NHS, which is in the northwest part of England. Number 37 is Colchester Hospital University NHS. Number 38 is Ashford and St. Peter's NHS Trust. Number 39 is St. George's University Hospital, which is in London. And the last but certainly not the least is Luton and Dunstable Hospital NHS which is in the north part of England. Now, what I want to add on to this is that when you go onto the trust website or the NHS jobs website or the track jobs website and you are looking for jobs, try to read the job description and the person specification for these particular jobs because some of the job roles that are advertised may not offer sponsorship for overseas nurses or may not even offer sponsorship for you if you're already in the UK. Some of the jobs are also tailored to a specific um, group of people and specialties. So you have to read the job description. And also one trick is that when you go onto the, uh, the track job or whatever website and you are looking for the job, yeah, they've got an email and a contact number of the people who are in charge of that job adverts. Now, try to contact these people directly, yeah? It gives them an impression that you are somebody who is willing and ready to work you know so when you have established that rapport with them you've asked them you can even ask them any questions that you want so try and contact them to ask for more details about the job maybe there are questions that you want to ask about the job that is not written in the advertisement and this way it decreases the chances of you receiving unfortunate 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 as a response so this is for every category of people, as I said, for midwives, for mental health nurses, for every category of nurse, for pediatric nurses. And yes, give it a shot. I know people who have applied for band six rules from overseas and it was granted to them. Imagine band six rules from overseas, especially the midwives. So make good use of this opportunity when you go to the website, you know, surf through the internet. I know that looking for a job is a full-time job on its own. And even for people that are already in the United Kingdom, it doesn't come really easy. You have to search and search and search especially because you need um tier 2 sponsorship to continuously live in the united kingdom i wish you all guys the very best in your transitioning from your home country to the united kingdom and i wish you all the very best in your job search to join the nhs in whichever specialization or whichever category of healthcare profession that you find yourself in thank you guys so much for watching if you're wondering who I am and if you're on this channel for the first time, my name is Becca. I'm a registered nurse, originally from Ghana in West Africa. I practice in London as a registered nurse. And yes, you are welcome to my channel. Smash the like button for this video. Turn the post notification bell icon. Um, subscribe to the channel for more updates. And until we meet again in my next video, guys, it's bye. Bye-bye.